<laughs> she looking kind of cute. <laughs> Is she a little bit cute? Just a little bit. Oh, I got a message. Should I risk it? Should I risk it for the biscuit? Hello, everybody. It's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that 2021 is right around the corner. My body, my brain feels like it's still stuck in March because I'm still trying to process 2016. All jokes aside, I genuinely cannot believe that it's 2021 in a few weeks because I really do mean it when I say that I'm still trying to process like three, four years back. <laughs> but to be fair, I think 2020 I can let slide. There isn't much for me to process in 2020 because, well, I didn't do that many things in 2020. Not a lot of things happened to me, but a lot of things happened to the world. Um, so I think that might take me a bit to process, but it's not as difficult as the other things I've had to process personally from 2015 onwards. <laughs> I am so ready to leave 2020 behind. Again, not that a lot of things happened for me personally, but there's so many horrible things that happened to the world. And as much as I want to help, there's only so many things I can do from the four walls of my flat. Yes, I can donate. Yes, I can stay home socially distanced so that I don't get other people sick if I am sick. But then again, it feels like I could be doing more, but what can I do from the comfort of my own home? So it, it's really been this limbo of not knowing how to feel or not knowing what to do. And I'm kind of ready to put that feeling aside. <laughs> and I know that a new year does not mean that no bad things are ever going to happen again, because bad things will follow. Bad things are inevitable regardless of what year or what place you're in. But it really would be nice to have something new and I think that's what 2021 is for me. On that note, as you can tell from the title of this video, I will be showing you some planners that I've got for 2021. All of my friends know that I go absolutely insane for stationery. I like to buy notebooks, pens, pencils, post-its, planners, just so that I have this false sense of organization because it makes me feel like I have my life together, which disclaimer, I don't, but I'm a firm believer that feeling like you do is already halfway to actually getting your life together. So your girl is trying, she, she's trying her best. <laughs> In this video, I will be showing you three planners at three different price points, below 500, below 1000, and below 5,000? That one's a work in progress. I still have to calculate that, but I will tell you later. And I will be flipping through these three planners so that you can have a general idea of what planner would work best for you. So enough of this and more of this. So these are the three planners that I have here for you today. I know that three planners is honestly not enough to give you guys options, but realistically, I do not need to purchase a bunch of planners just for a video. So these are the three planners that I currently have here in my flat, and I don't think I will be getting any more because I don't need any more, but these are the three that I have. This planner all the way on the right is the Essentials Planner. It is from, uh, where is it from? Crazy About Paper. Uh, it retails at 390 pesos. I think they were on sale during 12.12, but just generally this sells for 390 pesos, at least when I bought it at National Bookstore. This one is the Design Your Life Planner by C&S Designs. Yeah, C&S Designs. Um, this one is my personal favorite because, I mean, the color scheme, the aesthetic, it's very me. There's actually some marks on the cover, and that's because, uh, that's like, it, it's so obvious it's bubble wrap <laughs> that was stuck on it for a while because I had ordered this. I did not purchase it at a physical store. I had to order this. I ordered it, I think, a month ago, and it just arrived. Um, this sells for 395 pesos. Um, but I did have to pay for shipping, so I think it came out to 770? So, like I said earlier in the video, this falls under 5,000, but that's because I didn't really compute how much it would cost to be able to collect one. So let's check the menu and see how much you could get this, like, at the cheapest. So I am on my Starbucks app. Let's go check beverages. I'm going to assume that hot brewed coffee is the cheapest thing. 
and um, let's get a tall, the smallest size, add to order. I am going to assume that this is the cheapest drink. If you work at Starbucks and I'm very wrong, please let me know, but let's just say it's 110. Now to get the Starbucks planner, you have to get 18 stickers, so 18 times 110 is, oh! Just below 2,000. Okay, I overestimated you guys. So this will be about 2,000. But that honestly depends on the kind of drinks that you get in order to collect stickers. So the cheapest you can get this planner for, I'm assuming, is 2,000 pesos. So starting with the cheapest planner, this is the Essentials Planner from Crazy About Paper. It's from the same company that makes the Belle Du Jour planners. Um, and I really love the design of this, the art deco, the gold on black, it's just, I love it. And it's very, it's light, and what I don't like is that it's like paper, I guess, like it's not hard cover, but it is 390 pesos, there's only so much I can ask from it. Anyway, it does say that it is an essentials planner, and they're not lying, it's basically what you may need in a planner. So you open it up, and actually I didn't expect this, where it's kind of like the typical motivational planner things where it's like, let me motivate you for the next year, your goals, your dreams, those type of things. So I actually really do like that. I did not expect it. Um, but I think it's really cute. And they actually include a December 2020 monthly view, but um, I don't think I'll be needing it because, well, as of today, it's the 12th and, you know, there's not much left to plan, but, you know, I might. And so they have a monthly view, this is January, and I like how they have this extra space. I'll probably use this for notes, but it's, it's very, very simple. There isn't much to it. And then, my favorite part about this planner is that when you open up to what should be the weekly view, it is just dotted pages. <laughs> so. The reason why I got this planner is because I actually want to turn it into a diary slash journal. I want to kind of creatively express what I did that week. This is more a diary for me than it is a planner, but I know a lot of people who would like this in a planner where they have full control about how they plan. Also, in the weekly view, there is a forecast of the next month and that of the previous. So if you have recurring things, like a monthly thing you need to do, that is super useful to have. And yeah, it's like that <laughs> literally throughout the entire planner. It's very straight to the point. The paper is like this yellowy beige color, which I really like because I cannot stand very white paper. It tends to give me a headache. At the very back of the planner, which I also did not expect, are just blank dotted pages, which let me just get to it. I appreciate because notes are really important and I might use it to kind of um, have a measuring table because every time I have a dotted journal, I like to have one page where I kind of measure where is half, where is quarter, where is third, so that it's kind of easier to draw lines and write my notes. So I really like this planner. For 390 pesos, this is definitely worth it. I like it very, very much, and I just love the way it Moving on to the second planner, which is the Design Your Life Planner. This is the one for 2020, which again, I barely used because, you know, Rona. But I really like the design of this one a little better because just the color scheme is speaking to me. But this is not to say I didn't like it. I like this a lot, but this color. And so this year they started doing, what do you call this? I'm not sure what they call it, but they got rid of the rings. <laughs> and it's, it's thinner? Yeah, it's, no, I think it's, it's just generally a bit bigger, which I kind of like, because I felt like this was such an awkward shape, but I still really like it. Um, they have awesome, like, th look, it is blank, you guys. I'm so annoyed. Oh, I started to write in that, like, let's keep that. <laughs> but I really like the Design Your Life Planner, so best believe I pre-ordered this last month. And this is the one that I will actually be using to plan. Um, I haven't really opened this for realsies, so it comes with, where is it? Where is it? There we go. It comes with two ribbon bookmarks, which I really like. Look at 
this. Look at this. It's so pretty. Look. <laughs> so it comes with two ribbon bookmarks and, oh, uh, where is it? There we go. It comes with an elastic. So I really like this because it helps keep the planner shut, which again, look at that. It's so pretty. And I think if you order, um, you get this little ruler thing, which I think is super cute, and then a little Merry Christmas thing, which is also super cute. Uh, a little card that just says, thanks. And uh, I, I don't know what this is. I think you're supposed to push those out. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Oh no, but I, I think you're supposed to. Um, I think they're stencils. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, that totally is, okay. So when I got this, I had no idea what I was looking at, but now I'm realizing it's definitely stencils and I'm here for it. This comes with every planner, I think. Two sheets of stickers, which I think is uh, adorable. But let's start flipping through this planner. So you open up the planner and you have this kind of contact sheet and this stuff, like blood type, allergies, dentist, doctor, and the phone number of your doctor and or dentist, those are super important to have, I feel. Um, in case of emergencies, and also these, roadside assistance, ambulance, fire, and police. These are just numbers that are super, super, super important to have. So you open up and they have this year goal kind of planner thing, which they had in the previous one as well. And I really like this because you figure out what you want to do, and then you write down what exactly is it about your goals that kind of terrifies you, and then you kind of plan out per month what you can do to reach said goal and you can have an accountability partner. Um, for my previous year, it was my dad who was my accountability partner and I feel like for this year, it's still gonna be him. <laughs> this year, I think they added this, which is um, kind of taking care of your mental health and your physical health as well. So super appreciate that. There's also a travel checklist. So like a master checklist for things you need every time you travel. And there are three small travel planners for like trips, like short trips. And then there are list pages. Oh, I like this one, the last time. So I like to put when I last went to the dentist or when I had my car's oil changed or battery changed or like when I changed my toothbrush or when I got a haircut. So I really like to have that. Um, there's also a monthly thing. This page I personally don't really have a lot of use for because I think this was made to be a password tracker, but I think you can use it for other things because I generally don't really want to put my password anywhere, but um, I think you can figure out how to use this as like a, there we go, like a contacts page. There's a gift list, which is super useful because I never know what to give people, and a little wish list so that if people ask me what I want, I know what to tell them. And this cash flow page, which <laughs> Again, I didn't really get to use much for 2020 because it's not as if I was going out and spending a lot But I think this will be super useful for 2021 and then they also have a few Note pages, which I really like they come in lined Dotted and I think the last one is blank. Yeah, I really like how many note pages they are at the start of every month they have this kind of overview thing where you have a power word slash phrase, a goal statement, which you kind of take from the goals page at the very start of the planner. Um, anything goes. I see myself posting a Polaroid here every month. Uh, habit trackers, sleep tracker, and expense tracker, which again is super useful. And then this is what the monthly overview looks like, which I love. And this is what the weekly view looks like, which again, I love. <laughs> and every week you have um, a tiny monthly view, which is awesome. And there's always something nice that they say. And there's also a little space for notes. And I like that Saturday and Sunday has the same amount of space as every other day because some people have big plans on weekends and I think that's right. Oh, buffet day. This is pretty much, oh goodness, that is gorgeous. This is what the planner looks like. It's also very straight to the point, but there's a lot of bits and bobs that kind of make the idea of planning a little cuter. Oh, look at this, this is so cute. And I'm so excited to use this. I, again, like to get planners for a false sense of organization, and seeing this planner be this cute makes me excited to plan for my future, makes me excited to set goals, and I think 
That is the the intent. Last but definitely not the least is the 2021 Starbucks planner. Uh, look, it's still in plastic because I mean, I had no intentions of opening it until I realized I had three planners in my flat and I decided why not talk about it. I got this a month ago. Um, at the bottom of the box, you can see what color you got or what kind you got because they do have the organizers as well. So Ate, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna open it up. Oh, th this is why I didn't want to open it. I didn't want to ruin it because it's not mine. It's my sister's. Ooh, but it's pretty. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, I really have to open it. Ate, I'm so sorry. Do you think I can open this with my nails? Should I risk it? Should I risk it for the biscuit? No, okay, I'm gonna get a cutter. My sister's favorite color is green, so I didn't even have to ask her what color she wanted. I think the other option is uh, yellow. Oh, hold up, this feels nice. Ooh, I like it. What is this? Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's a lot of trash, I'm sorry. But I like the way that feels. Oh my goodness. I think this is a bookmark. That's cute, that's cute. I'm here, I'm here. I like how thick the elastic band is. Oh, it also comes with a ribbon bookmark. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, that first sip feeling, more like that first opening a planner feeling. Oh, they have stickers. What's your drink today? And so they have stickers of their, I guess their famous drinks. Your girl loves her caramel macchiato. <gasps> Pumpkin spice. I cannot wait until November next year. Okay, so they start off with a personal information page, which I think is awesome. Um, Oh, and they have a 21 and 22 overview. Let me put this down so that. Ooh, I like it. Oh, the page feels really thin though. I can't deny that. It does feel very thin in comparison to the Design Your Life planner. Oh, this is awesome. This planner is produced in a Forest Stewardship Council certified facility and printed on FFC, F, FSC certified paper. FSC is an independent, non-governmental, not-for-profit organization established to promote the responsible management of the world's forests. That's awesome. 10 out of 10 already, just for that. So this is what the monthly view looks like. I think it's kind of small um, because it is only on one page. So the reason why it's only on one page is because on the left page, there's some information about Starbucks, I guess about its history. It does feel a little bit small to me, but it's cute. My sister's really gonna like this. It's very, it's very, it's green. And at the bottom of the monthly view, you have a forecast for the next month. This is what your weekly view looks like. You have the weekly view on the left and a blank page on the right. Saturday and Sunday do share a space. So for me, that's a little inconvenient, especially for people, like I said, who have plans on weekends but I think, you know, they could just do it here. I really do think the paper is a little thin because you can kind of see what's on the next page. Um, so I wonder if um, when you write on it, it'll bleed through. Ooh, there's notes pages at the end of every month. That's cute. Oh, and they have coupons. That's cool. Oh, there is a pocket at the back. So I think that's it. My light just died, so I hope you guys don't mind the sudden shift in lighting, but let's wrap this up. The essentials planner for me, I think is definitely worth 390 pesos. It's very straight to the point. To people who like straight to the point planners and like no fancy schmancy things, this is for you. They come in a different design and they are the same company that makes Belle Du Jour planners, which is in the same price point as the Design Your Life planner. And actually the Belle Du Jour planners come with this little coupon book at the end. Um, and I think it is actually a little bit cheaper than the Design Your Life planner, I think by a hundred pesos. I'm so excited to start trying to channel my creativity to start journaling. But yeah, obviously I'm a little bit biased. This is the planner that I'm the most excited about. For 695 pesos, I think it's worth it. It's around the same price as Samgyup, just a little bit more, <laughs> nearly 200 pesos more. And I, I'm gonna have it for an entire year. And it's very aesthetically pleasing. I love the way it looks. Um, like I said, it kind of motivates me to plan because it's just so pretty. And if you're not interested in this kind of like, fancy schmancy thing. They do sell a back to basics planner where it's not as 
decorative and they also have a limitless planner which is an undated planner and it's like really it's kind of similar to this one where you're in charge of anything. I would recommend this the most but that's just because this is the one I will be using to actually plan my year and just it's so pretty you guys I can't I'm not over it. Lastly the Starbucks planner like I said this is not for me this is for my sister. For 2,000 pesos for me, that's a bit pricey, like if I'm going to be honest, it is a bit pricey in comparison to 390 and 695. 2000 I feel like is a big jump, however, if you do drink a lot of Starbucks anyway, it's not bad. Like if you drink Starbucks every day because you're a coffee drinker, you might as well collect stickers for a planner. Considering you get it for free with something you would do on the regular, I like this. <laughs> I really like the idea of this. And it does feel a little luxurious. I do really like the way it feels. I'm not over it. I'm, I keep touching it. I wouldn't suddenly start drinking a lot of Starbucks just to get this because there are other options. But like I said, if you already drink coffee, if you already drink tea, if you already drink non-coffee drinks, it's not bad. This is... I really like it. <laughs> and those were the planners. I had so much fun with this video because like I said, I go insane over stationery. So I hope you enjoyed looking at these planners as much as I did because I know that I had a blast. I really like having physical planners because it just feels better for me in comparison to just typing down plans on my phone because it feels like I'm manifesting something when I really write it down. Let me know what type of planner you are. Do you like physical planners? Do you like making plans on your phone? Or do you not like making plans at all? Are you the type of person who just wings it? If you like physical planners, please let me know which one of these three planners you would get. Or if you have other planner recommendations, let me know. Your girl likes them. With that being said, I hope you're ready to start a new year. I hope you're genuinely making plans for you. I hope you're ready to start something new. So just know that I got you. I'm here with you. I'm also trying to make plans for myself. I'm claiming it. I am manifesting it. We got this. We got this. You, you, you got this. That said, I will be ending this video here. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my videos. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really, really would mean the world to me. And I hope to see you back here whenever I post again. <laughs> Bye!